this hair tool will change everything. Yeah, it could potentially completely revolutionize the way you style your hair. It claims that it will actually style your hair easier, with less fatigue, all while drying it in record time. This is the tool that is supposed to change everything. Today, we're gonna test its claims. We're gonna see if they're right, if they're wrong, and if there's any actual special uses for this thing that, that might make it actually worth you spending your hard-earned money on it. And heads up, this is not sponsored whatsoever. I bought this thing with my own money, which I'm not entirely sure why I did. You can find it on Amazon for like $18. But whatever you do, don't buy that yet. Let's see if this thing actually does anything that it claims to do. It just looks dumb. Like, babe, seriously, what does this thing even look like? What does it look like to you? It looks, it kind of looks like a medieval, like, stethoscope. Babe, you're, you're, you're speeding so fast. Oh, well, babe, it's because you're next to me. <laughs> no way. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Can you, hello? Can you patch me in? Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not garnishing a whole lot of, like, trust. And I don't think it's going to work. This is the box. It doesn't even have a name. It, so you can technically travel with this. Yeah, I don't know why you'd want to take you, that with you. <laughs> there's no way you could take this on an airplane. Yeah, you could. You are at this. Are, this is heavy. They don't have weight restrictions. I can't take on three ounces of liquid, but I'm going to be able to carry this thing on. Yeah, you'd be able to carry it on. I used to work at the airport. I know. <laughs> this is okay. So let's, let's not uh, pass any completely harsh judgments on it yet. Maybe there is a use for it. Let's find out if there is something that you could use this for, if it actually does somehow. Uh, did it break? <laughs> oh no, I think that's supposed to be a guess. Oh, oh, you know what I could do with it? Nope, don't, don't. Oh, that's, oh. That. <laughs> oh, hold on. <laughs> oh, this first word is, this is just supposed to suction to the mirror. Okay. So we'll put it here, push this down. Okay. That feels very secure. Oh, does the whole mirror move? Does it, does it? No, stop it. Well, it does a little bit. Okay, we'll push this. Uh, okay, the way this is supposed to work is. Oh, it comes out further than I thought. But that's not gonna hold a blow dryer. Look. Okay, we'll keep it like that. Okay. So then we take a blow dryer. Okay, so you guys know if you've watched my channel, I have a couple blow dryers that I really like. All of them are kind of this shape or a similar shape to this. Okay, so this is supposed to go through like this, right? I didn't look at the. I didn't look at the picture. Um, we should probably get the. Fo we should probably get the picture. So, like a typical man, you didn't read the instructions. It's upside down. This is upside down. It's upside down. What? Take it off. Flip it. That's what the picture shows. Okay, so I'm supposed to flip it like this. Yes. Okay. Okay. And then this comes down like this. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> okay. Now what's next? So this goes. The through handle goes through. Over here. Yes. Okay. So then this comes around here. And clicks on that. Oh. That doesn't really. But you could probably tie a knot in that to make the cord sure. shorter. I wonder if you can just go like this. There you go. There you go. And then just. Okay, so now it's tighter. Now, what you're supposed to do at this point is now it's hands free. Okay. This has to magically minimize your time in record time and make the styling easier, which it would be easier yeah, if it's one. I'm not very okay. good at like a round brush, but if I had two hands versus one hand. Let's show a round brush. Okay, so we got a round brush. So let's imagine, uh, I want to take this out. Okay. okay. So I'm now not you've right. got a blow dryer and you got a round brush. Oh, I'm, come on. Now what are we doing? What kind of rookie am I? Oh, I don't know. I'm not very good with a round brush, okay. honestly. So let's imagine that you're going to put a round brush in your hair. You would do it. That's how you would do it. Yep. Always okay. down. So yep. always down like this. Exactly. So we know that this air, if we're going to be effective and efficient in terms of Woo! drying it and smoothing it, then we know that air needs to be pointed down the shaft. Correct. Okay. And that means that this has to be positioned in a certain way to allow us to do that, right? Mm -hmm. So this has to be way up, up here. Can you get your body in a position that will allow you to dry your hair with that face? Yes. Yeah. So that technically- and Then I have two hands and then I can go like this and then I can do like this. Okay. Shockingly, this could actually Ooh. be a little bit easier. Yeah. That part- But easy. how do you do the back? Yeah. <laughs> So here's my other issue with this. Okay. So first of all, we have to get the hair dry. So number one is you got to get the moisture out of it. Your yeah. already has moisture, but I know as a stylist to do that. And you know, yeah, my wife. you don't style first thing. You don't use, you wouldn't use this really to begin with. So even if, if you didn't have this in your hands and you had it attached to this, you would turn that on and then you would need to tilt your head forward to blow dry your hair oh. down to encourage lift, right? It might actually work. It, it wouldn't though. Oh. 
Because you would have to be like, let's test it out. Well, maybe you could. Maybe you could. Turn it on. Let's test it out. Okay. So you have to tilt your head forward like you're gonna like it's wet. So tilt your head forward and put it like here like it's wet. Because it would have to be. You'd have to come to it because it can't come to you. Right? Yeah. So now I'm gonna take off the like thingy. Maybe. Okay. Let's take that off. Okay. Like this. Okay. I'm actually thinking that actually could work. <laughs> Holy crap. I didn't think, I thought this is the dumbest thing. thing. I did not see this coming. I'm so, okay. So it could get your hair dry. Yeah. It's not going to dry it faster because drying it faster is going to be based on the blow dryer you're using. Yeah. This is just a matter of whether or not it's easier at the end mm -hmm. of the day. I didn't even think it was going to come out far enough. I thought it, I was going to have to go like in like this. Son of a and you, okay. you were making fun of it. 100%. <laughs> There's only one last thing that we could do with this. And that is legitimately tested. Why don't you shampoo your hair? Okay. And let's dry it and let's use this. Be I am so, this is not what I expected for this video. Well, why don't you do this? Shampoo. Okay, so now we've got you wet. Let's move this into position. We have to remember though, so you've got product in it, everything's ready to go. The way you would do it is you'd want to tilt your head upside down and get those roots up off of your scalp. So that's how you have to do it with this. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna time it and see how long it actually takes you to style your hair. Do you have any idea how long it normally would take you to get your hair dry and style? Say eight to 10 minutes. So this is gonna be a very loose <laughs> technical test here. Five minutes and 35 seconds. Did that feel faster to you? It did feel faster. It's just, there's things that I liked and things that I was like, oh, cause like usually when I blow dry my own hair, I'm usually doing this with the blow dryer. I don't keep it straight. So if you stay still, it's gonna burn your head. So it's like you have to move around or you have to keep your hands moving. I feel like this would be a, could be a solid option for the technical aspect of round brushing your hair. Mm -hmm. As far as just getting the moisture out, it makes more sense to be able to actually move that around. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine that your hair take longer than five minutes and 38 seconds right. to dry with this same dryer in the same way, but being able to manipulate where the end yeah. hair is going. Yeah, because sometimes I wouldn't move my head enough. I'm like, oh, that's hot. <laughs> okay, so final thoughts. Is this thing actually worth spending your $18 on? I definitely wouldn't buy it for myself. <laughs> However, if like I had a shoulder issue, then I would probably absolutely use that. She doesn't use a round brush on her hair. Correct. She blow dries it to get it dry and then she uses a flat iron. And if that's your scenario, it might not really make sense because it actually makes more sense to use your hands and be able to move your blow dryer around because I cannot see any way from doing hair as long as I have that keeping the, station, the blow dryer stationary is gonna be faster to get the moisture up. Mm -hmm. The blow dryer is going to make a difference, but having a stationary is not. However, there are a lot of issues with shoulder impingements, right? Especially as we age, these things become a little bit more evident. And the way you need to hold your blow dryer to get your airflow to go down the hair shaft so that you minimize the damage requires you to lift your shoulder up a bit, or at least to lift your elbow up a, get, a bit, which can put strain on your shoulders. Some people might, might not have that option. In that scenario, this actually makes a whole lot of sense. Yeah. I feel like if you're using a round brush, this doesn't suck. Right, because I'm not a pro at using a round brush, so I'd want to grab my hair and use the round brush versus like trying to do it one-handed. All right, yeah. so does this meet the claims? Well, it claims to dry your hair in record time. I call that a big fat lie. Yeah. No, it does not. Yeah. However, it also claims to minimize the fatigue. And in that scenario, I would say absolutely you could do that. Yeah. Yeah. I think if you're a person that actually round brushes your hair and you have a hard time man managing both things mm -hmm. and you really want to have one hand free, this might be right up your alley. And I feel like at $18, yeah. it's kind of worth the shot. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you have. So uh, we appreciate you hanging out. Uh, let me know if you <laughs> decide you think you want one of these. Uh, comment below. I'd love to hear <laughs> if you have one, if you've used it, or yeah. if you think you're going to get one. <laughs> I'll see you next Tuesday. <laughs> there you go. Subscribe and all the good stuff. And yeah. Do that. YouTube. Yay.